Hi everybody, welcome to Being Kambua. I hope that you are keeping well. The holidays are here. I trust that you're kind of slowing down as we get ready to wind up the year. Now, from when we started Being Kambua, a lot of you have been writing to me, sharing your stories, your testimonies, but also you have said to me, Kambua, we want to hear from the men. We want to know what their experiences are like. How do they process all these things that we have been talking about? In case you're new to this family of Being Kambua, this is a safe space where we have conversations regarding motherhood, infertility, miscarriage, child loss, um, and all these other conversations that are sometimes uncomfortable, grief, loss, and so on. They're uncomfortable, they're taboo, they come with a lot of stigma, and we are saying in order to overcome and in order to find healing, we have to have these conversations. So this is a safe space for all of us. And you might be watching this and saying, well, it doesn't affect me. I don't know. I cannot relate to it, but I'm sure you know somebody who can benefit from the conversations. And also you don't know what tomorrow looks like. So welcome to being Kambua. I am so delighted to have you here. I listened to you and I brought the men on board. I am so happy. So there's a lot of testosterone on my set today. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell. <laughs> They're just bubbling under. There's been conversations about football and other things that I will not bring to being. <laughs> important conversation. A very important conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Before I introduce you guys, and of course I know people are like, oh, we know him, we know him, we know him, we know him. I want to do something a little random. Would you rather be too hot or too cold? The Bible said. What does the Bible say? It says, oh, if you're neither, if you're neither hot, hot, hot nor cold, cold you'll, be you'll be spewed out. But me, I want to be in the middle. Uh. Mm. Too hot is not too good for okay. me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Joto jingi pia lipendezi. Yeah. Na baridi nyingi pia. Mm -hmm. So you are hapo katikati. Hapo katikati pazuri. How about you? Cold as ice. Cold as ice. Yeah, yeah that's what's up. Allah. Na kuangam cold evil cars. No, I just heat is not. Hey, ata yina skena nchoma. Eh. But niko sawa. Are you talking about the about no, 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 drinks? No, no, iko sawa. Iko sawa. Even yetu ina choma kiasi. Iko sawa. You will get your ice cubes. Yes. Mm. Okay. Um, I mean hot because... You know, that's how, that's how I is. Mm -hmm. you, know, you see you know? the difference between the ladies and the men? <laughs> oh my gosh. Would you rather text or call? Call. Text. Call. Text. Text. Call. text. No. call. Call. Let's call and get it done with. Okay. Okay. I'm Stand with up. you on text. Maybe in text. I'm yeah. with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last one. Would you rather smelly feet or bad breath? Hey. Oh God. <laughs> None of the above. <laughs> Smelly feet, smelly feet, bad breath. One is or option. It, but oh, no. it's an option now. Uh, who, I think if it's an option, option, then it could be. Mm -hmm. And this is just my working theory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would go for smelly feet because yeah. before before atoe ko kiatu atoe nyonginyos. Mm-hmm. Do one. But breath na kongresha even the jet ski kicks. So you take the smelly feet. I take the smelly feet because yeah. it it's layered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's covered. It's, it's covered. Yeah. Actually, that makes sense. Now that I think about it, even me, the smelly feet. Juhi kina kuna kava, ni life, ni wewe tu. Direct. Lakini watu waoge. Ya watu waoge na mabrash. Kama itabidi uone dentist muhimu. Sao. Fanya hivu. Ini isi maswali. All right. No, no, no. Those, I'm done. I'm oh, done. Yeah, okay. Let me start with you, Omari. Yes. Omari is my brother. He's my friend. I knew Omari from, uh, we worked together at yeah. Media Services. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're colleagues. Yeah. But you've also married someone that I really love, my sister Masi, who okay. I had on Being Kambua some yeah, weeks yeah. back. Yeah. Um, Omari is a designer, a, a graphic designer. Yes, yes. And also <coughs> a husband and a father. What have I missed about you, Omari, in that great introduction? A believer. A believer. Thank you, of Jesus Christ. Yes. Yeah, very yes. important. Yes, yeah. yes. I'm so happy to have you, Omari. Thank yeah, you for thank saying you. yes. Thank you. No, my, my pleasure. Yeah. My pleasure. To yes. my left here is O'Neill Nyanje. Oh! the way from Mombasa. He's been trying to teach us Kiswahili mm. this morning. There's a crash course going on and um, <laughs> the other gentlemen are not doing too well. O'Neill <laughs> is no stranger to you, to your screens. Uh, you have seen him acting. He's been on TV for many, many years. Um, got to know you from Word of Life in Mombasa in Okunda. Mm. Uh, O'Neill is also a husband and a father and we're so happy to have you here today, O'Neill Karibusana. Sansa. What have I missed? 
Um, I'm an educator right now. You're an educator. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah, what yeah. are you educating? I, I'm part uh, of an organization that is uh, helping kids out in Kilifi. We have yeah. two institutions, primary schools, mm -hmm. that we're trying. We have a feeding center and we have a school. We have schools, two schools and feeding centers, yeah. which are located within a church, yeah. where we're trying to put the kids in the, those communities through school. Mm -hmm. The kids who are struggling and their parents are not able to put them through school by yeah. providing meals for them and education. Right. And then also we see them through high school. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they join universities. Yeah. So since inception, right now we have... It's been 16 years, yeah. the, the program, and yeah. uh, our first ever student who started from like baby class yes. is now a fourth year student. Wow. Mm, so that's, that's the thing that's giving me wow. life right now. Yeah, I love it. I love to hear it. Willis Raburu. Yes, sir. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Willis Raburu is also no stranger to your screens. I got to meet Willis also when we worked together at Royal Media Services, yes. so we were colleagues as well. At the Royal Media. Yes, at the Royal Media family. <laughs> yes. Um, you've been on TV as a news anchor. You've hosted uh, 10 over 10 and many other productions. Mm -hmm. um, you are also a husband and you are a father, yeah. and I'm so happy to have you here today. Karibu. As san, 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 thank you for san. saying yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. I Can have you. to say, you guys are so, honestly, none of them gave me a hard time. I called, I, te I texted. Yeah. I, I yes. am a texter. You d How are you here if you oh. didn't say yes? <laughs> no, I didn't get my thank you for saying yes. So okay, I thank you for, but I'm saying it publicly. Thank oh. you for saying yes. <laughs> Um, you know, there I, I read somewhere that there's um there's a word for people who lose their parents. They're called orphans, right? Yeah. When you lose a spouse, if you're a, a man, you're a widower. widower yeah. Um when you lose a, a husband, you're a widow. When you lose a child, there's no name for it because it's such an unnatural uh, process. Mm. Because what is expected to happen is that we, um, we bury the people who are older than us, we bury our, our, our parents, mm. our grandparents, mm. um, but for them to bury us, for us to bury our children is very unnatural. Mm. And so for many years, there's not quite been a word found to refer to a person who has lost a child. Mm -hmm. So we are here, all of us have, have some common threads, different but still some underlying common threads. And I want us to just, we're taking a deep dive right into the heart of this conversation. And um, I'm going to start with you, Omari. Okay. I know we got to hear a bit of Massey's story or quite a bit of Massey's story, but now to hear it from your perspective, um, could you tell us how you, first of all, how you were introduced into fatherhood <laughs> yeah. and then how you were introduced into loss. Um, what I can say is when, when you're introduced into fatherhood, I guess that's when you, I got married to Marcy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it, it, it happened so far. I, I can't really say there's a way you, intro, there's an introduction because yeah. When we, we just were like a newlywed people, a newlywed couple, seven months later she got pregnant. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're about to be a father. Mm -hmm. Then you have, wow, I'll be a father. Then yeah. like, come say ka me and I can be around. That was, it was very exciting. exciting. Mm -hmm. Even more so a son. Mm -hmm. One thing I don't, Masi never mentioned this on air, mm -hmm. but let me tell you. In the Tonga Nini le Tunenanga Watona, ultrasound. The ultrasound, yeah. Yes. Ultrasound, that yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Wow, I was trembling. Really? I was trembling. And the first time I heard the heartbeat. Mm. Yeah. Where? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I, I don't know. I, I may look gangster, but <laughs> <laughs> I may look gangster, but <laughs> hey, a brother was shaking. Show them the chest. <laughs> Injina Kathanos, like in Indan in Ileko. I was <laughs> trembling very bad. Any, so, yeah. I can say I wasn't really prepared. Uh -huh. But uh, as you get closer to the baby to come, uh, baby being born, yeah. you start warming up to the idea, mm -hmm. especially when you buy many babies, baby clothes, yes. all this stuff. Yes. So you start warming up to the idea. Mm. Another thing you said, this thing is new. Nobody expects you and mm. you don't even realize. Mm -hmm. Sadly, I've gone through loss. I've yeah. lost my father. I've lost, sadly, I've gone through loss a couple of times. Yeah. I don't know how to put it. Yeah. Losing a baby wasn't even in my mindset. I never even thought such, such a thing can ever happen. Mm -hmm. So by the time it happened, yeah. Uh, one thing about me, I'm very, 
I go to detail. Yeah. I don't think I've ever told you even this. Do you know mm-hmm. it happened when I was holding him like this? Mm-hmm. So, eh, um, what I can say is it, it, it completely knocked me out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it completely knocked me out. Mm-hmm. That's something I never prepared for. Yeah. And um, first of all, you need to understand, because I remember when I lost my dad, I was being told you need to be strong for your mother. You need to be strong for so and so. Mm-hmm. Now I'm a husband. Yeah. I'm a grown man. Yeah. I need to know how to figure out how to handle this. Mm-hmm. So it's a, it's a new space. It's a new, new kind of uh, experience. You don't even know how to deal with it. Mm-hmm. You've just lost somebody who means everything. Yet mm-hmm. they're in your life quite a short span of time because by the time we lost Malakai, he was mm-hmm. seven seven weeks, yeah. Yeah. So to be honest, Kamboa, even right now I'm still yeah. dealing with it. Yeah. When you talk about these things, uh yeah. slowly these things come back, the yeah. emotions come back, the yeah. pain comes back. I don't yeah. I don't truly believe somebody completely heals. Mm. You just True. learn to live with the pain. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I can say for sure yeah. I'm still living with the pain. I'm I'm of course I'm much better than where I was. Yeah. And it's all because of the grace of God. Yeah. Christ just has been holding me all through. Mm-hmm. And having good men around like O'Neill and uh, Willis, yeah. especially that time Willis, we worked a lot with him. Mm-hmm. And I think most men, when they go through this, mm-hmm. we don't know how to deal with this. Yeah. We don't know how to deal with this. Yeah. So we're winning, as, we're winning it as we go. Figuring it yeah, out as you Figuring it as we go. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, allow me to ask Omari. Um, mm. So you, you, this happened with Malachi, mm. um, and you know, a, a while later, you still had to you had to deal with a similar situation yeah, a few years yeah. down the line. Yeah. Um, you do have a boy called Emmanuel yeah. who is just so handsome. Yeah, um, like me, like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and then you had your third baby. Yeah. And 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 I, I'm not preempting your story. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the Faraja? Uh, yeah, Faraja. Uh, yeah, Faraja. I'm sorry. When I talk about him, it, it just feels unreal because mm-hmm. I remember when it was happening. Like I remember, Master said she was numb. Yeah. I think at that point, I was now looking at her. I was like, Do you realize what has just happened? Mm-hmm. Like I was like, Not again. Not again. Not again. Mm-hmm. Not again. How can this happen again? In fact, we're narrating that story, what happened in the uh, the cemetery. Yes. What happened is I was telling these guys, eh? <laughs> you know, when Job, the Job story, when uh, uh, the devil went, when that, that meeting was being called, mm. God was like, hey, where have you been? I've mm-hmm. uh, been hoovering, tembe, tembe, just looking for somebody to devour. Hey, have you considered my servant Job? Mm-hmm. I was like, did God forget? Hey, you, you said, can you consider Omari again? I was like, hey, you guys was already considered, but you can't consider me again. I mean, yeah. consider I mean, hey, me again. hey Manzi, you can't consider me again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so for it to happen again, I was like, okay, mm. what did I miss the first mm. time? Did I miss something? Yeah. Uh, did I miss something? Mm. No, maybe just to say a quick, a quick story. What Please. happened in the cemetery? Uh, I remember I called the guy who was, uh, you know, normally after you bury, mm. the cem- uh, the grave is just left like that with the flowers. Slowly the flowers. I don't know if the ladies go there. Mm. In Atolongo is my flowers. Ni, ni, ni. So mm. now you have to make the the grave yes. me presentable, slap it and everything. Mm. So I called the guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, can you? I can be Omar. Yeah, yeah. He was like, what? you sound familiar. Then he came. I was like, Omar, you know, back at the guy, just kept quiet, looked down. I looked at him. I didn't even know what to say. Then he was like, what are you doing? Imagine who said in Shikam Kono, he walked around with me, mm-hmm. showing me graves. You know, and so and so, this, this happened. You know, this and so, this happened. Mm-hmm. I was like, what? Then he told me, let me tell you, there's nothing wrong. And mm-hmm. I, it's interesting you said stigma. Yeah. You almost feel embarrassed. Mm-hmm. Like, what is wrong with me? Like, every time... Yeah. Yeah. In fact, that night, I, I, it was so hard calling my family to tell them, but imagine, yeah. as in I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't. Yeah. I had to deal with all that, dealing with the mortuary guys, going, you have to go report yeah. to the police. It's yeah. quite tough. Yeah. So the guy walked me around and told me, listen, this is life. Mm. It's only that it has happened to you now. Yeah. Mm. And I would want everybody out there to realize mm. it's, it has happened to us. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with us. Mm. It's only that it has happened to us. Yeah. Truth is, we're all going through this journey of life. It's mm-hmm. Death is something we can never be. 
it's inevitable. Yeah. It's inevitable. Yeah. Yeah. So it it brought a lot of sense to me at that moment. I was like, okay, I've never looked at it that way. Yeah. I always feel like, Kunashida, what is mm. wrong? Am I a bad parent? Mm. What's wrong with us? We can't yeah. keep it. What's going on? Mtoto mgina nazaliwa mbaka na tupo kwa dustbin. As when you took him to the best hospital, you yeah. took all the clinics. You did everything. You, did everything you knew. You knew yeah. And still this happened. So yeah. for me, that really yeah. moved me a lot. And yeah. uh, I think... For people even out there, I think it's important for people to understand there's nothing wrong. Yeah. It's only that life has True. happened. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yeah. I life. think that's so significant. And I feel like you've also, you. I'm just imagining that guy walking you through the cemetery. But really the words that he said to you mm. are words that probably somebody needed to hear today. That yeah. there's nothing wrong with yeah. you. Yeah. It's not something you have done. Um, because also, those are some of the words people say to you. It's, yeah. It must have been something you've done. Yeah. Have you checked your, oh. you know, your, 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 your history of <laughs> Family, history, actually, your life, your spiritual life. You know, there's so much that it's said. Spiritual yeah. ties. Actually, when, spiritual what, ties. Well, when you say that, you know, and knowing that we are Africans. Yeah. And from our African background, mm. the belief that death does not just happen. Mm. It is caused, which is somehow messed up. Or it's punishment. Mm. Yeah. Or it's punishment. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Which it's messed up. And that's yeah. where most people are. Yeah. And if you grew up from that kind of background, yeah. then it haunts you, you know. You're always mm. thinking, what did I do? Mm-hmm. You start searching yourself. Mm. You start blaming yourself. And you s- you sit in a place whereby you can never get out. Because you just dig a hole. You're that stuck. <clears throat> you yeah. can't get out of. Mm. So you find like that cultural background. Like what you said is, is very important that it's just happened to us now. now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. But either way, it was going to happen somewhere along, the, li- along the line of our life. Yeah. And we don't know. Someone mm. else is losing their life right now as we sit here. Yeah. And someone else is being, being born, born right yeah, now as really, we sit here. Mm. Yeah. So when you look at that that way, it makes you see perspective. And I yeah. think sometimes death changes mm-hmm. the way we perceive life yeah. and even the way we live life ourselves. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. just anyone sitting out there, just yeah. know. Yeah. There's it, nothing it, special about you that you've not lost anyone. Yeah. Well, there's mm-hmm. nothing wrong with us who've yeah, lost someone. Right, yeah. right. And I, and I talked about that one time. I can't remember which guest I was having conversation with, but we were saying people need to get off their high horse mm-hmm. and stop feeling like, oh, you know, us, you know, we, we, we are better off than this one because they lost their baby. Mm-hmm. Um, thinking that maybe you did something right to mm-hmm. have, you know, your baby with you. These are things that are beyond our control. Nobody mm-hmm. chooses, and it's this dance of life that you're talking yes. about, O'Neill. Yeah. Somebody is dying, somebody is transitioning, someone is coming into the world. Mm-hmm. Um, Willis, I'd like to hear your um, what your journey was like, um, your introduction to fatherhood as right. well. Mm-hmm. Tell me, you know, Omari has told us how he was. He was excited. He was also shaking like a leaf yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 during the ultrasounds. Yeah. What is that like for a yeah. guy when you're told we are expecting a baby? Well. Let me see. For, for me, it was um, um, I was married yeah. uh, then, and we had tried before. You're right. Um, so we tried before to get a, 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 a baby, and we lost the first one at three months. Okay. And so the, that was my first. First of all, just like um, I think Omar said, you don't normally. It's not something that is is in your mind that you're mm. going to have child loss. I mean, you just mm. like, yeah. you want to have a child loss, you want to have a child loss, you know, you don't sit and think that, hey, you know, this could happen. It's yeah. not, it doesn't cross your mind, at least until it happens. Yes. Because then that's a whole different story, yes. right? So for me, the first one was that. And then we, I remember we didn't have um, a gynecologist who was um, emotionally intelligent, yeah. I would say, mm-hmm. because even the way he broke mm-hmm. the news to yeah. us. Yeah. Um, because the, okay, the, for the first time for me, the very first time I had the heartbeat, I was like, "Whoa!" First yes. of all, yeah, it sounded like like a Grammy award winning song. Yeah, like it was that feeling beautiful. beautiful. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, the, yeah, I was like, "What? Look at that!" That's a life in there. You know, it was so. Yeah, I can't even describe it, but your heart feels. Yeah. Um, only way I can describe it is like either it's like somebody's reaching out and just specifically for your heart. Yeah. Ni kama me hug. You feel so warm and like wow. Mm. Like I'm finally doing something. Yeah. Mm. You know, like all these other accolades in life is good, but now you're like ah, now I'm actually doing something and I'm I'm somebody. Wow. Mm, right. So, yeah. 
that happened and then you go for the first and then three months later they have to check and now you know you've told everybody because I was like yo mm-hmm. this is it folks yeah. Yeah. I'm about to do it yes. so you've told everybody you know yes. it's like a circle you, and then we went and this time mm-hmm. so the the, the, the person at the scan mm-hmm. you know he went and he went his normal route but I'm like hey the first time I had a heartbeat that was happening yeah. Uh, Siski, Sasa, what's going on? Yeah. Uh, but of course, I was. This was internal. So yeah. I thought, because again, I have not been through. I mm-hmm. thought that maybe ille kuti ya kuske had been all the time to kawale my first timers. Oh yeah. yeah. So like, maybe, yeah you fresh, need yeah. to relax. So, yeah. So maybe this time, I kuwa. But then mm. Ali did something. What I did, I noticed was like it was almost kind of like the same size, or mm-hmm. like I didn't see progress. You know, like when you have the baby apps. Yeah. Yeah. I had one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I still do. Yeah. <laughs> so when you have the apps, yeah. you're like, oh, this is the way this is supposed to look now. Yes. And then you're like, hmm. Doesn't quite. Nice. Yeah, so then you chill. And then I we went back to the doctor. Yeah. And the doctor's like, okay, so uh, you've lost the baby. Like, oh, that's exactly how he broke the news. Wow. I was like, what? What do you mean? So uh, my ex-wife at the time was just yeah. sitting there. Mm-hmm. And I think almost the same thing happened, like, in terms of uh, what you said Masi went through. Mm. So how she was just quiet. Yeah. And Shock. For even me, I was like, what? what? In your mind, yeah. like, you, maybe you even want to ask, okay, define loss. Like, what do you mean? Yeah. Do you mean, like, you've lost, like, a signal? Like, you can't see it now? Yes. When it's there? Yes. Do you, like, help what do you mean? Help me understand. Yeah, help me understand. Mm. Make sense. But then he was like, yeah, you know, these things happen. So what we can do? Uh, now he started going through the procedure like you can go for something I think they call it evacuation or something like that yeah or you can take a pill yeah but then you have to be with each other and then all that stuff and we can prescribe it for you it's you know it's perfectly legal and all that stuff Mm -hmm. so at that point then it hit the mom and then she broke down yeah and then at that point for me by the way, I literally, it was like white noise Mm. like it was just a buzzing in my ear like you know like his you know, like with the things you see in the movies whenever like somebody's on out, out, yeah. outside, outside your boat. And then, yeah. like, I can hear him, but he's muffled. Yes. Like, I can't really can't hear what he's out. saying. I'm like, what's mm-hmm. this dude trying to say? Mm-hmm. Um, then now, of course, my attention shifted to, oh, she's breaking down, so yeah. now I have to be here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then now for us at the time, we chose to take the pill. Okay. So then that means you go home, mm-hmm. you take the pill, and mm-hmm. then you wait. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so now he has to... Get out of the system. Mm-hmm. So you have to wait, be yeah. there through the pain, yeah. be there through the going to the loo and the, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. seeing the, mm-hmm. you know, for lack of, I don't know how to describe it without sounding the, gooey, but you know, yeah. The remains of yes, the baby. Yeah. Yes, then you have to flush it and then you wait again and you go and it was very intense. So yeah. by the time I was, uh, we tried again, we actually yeah. tried for quite a, a while. Yeah. And then we tried again, and now finally she says she's pregnant. I'm like, all right. Yeah. I wasn't as excited as the first time, mm. um, especially what I did. Because remember, after these three months now, you have to go back and tell everybody told that, oh, okay, guys, it's not happening. You untell them. Yeah, untell them. Mm-hmm. So this time I said, so we're not going to say anything until we get at least past the three months. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So after three months, I was like, oh, wow, it's still happening. Okay, cool. Mm. And then we went on and on, and then I was told the most magical words. Yeah. Uh, that you're going to have a daughter. Oh. I'm like, ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that's a question. Now, mm-hmm. you thought I'm just another dude? Yeah. Give me my crown now. <laughs> a king is born. Yeah. It's me. I'm now the king. <laughs> yeah. And there's a princess coming. Yeah. You know, and even the name uh, we gave her, Adana, means daddy's girl. Oh, or wow. daddy's daughter, your yeah. father's daughter. I love it. Uh, and so everything was okay. I was, we were sharing... We would be backstage, right? We were sharing yeah. backstage. <laughs> yeah. And talking about how... The excitement was there. Mm. Um, I just, it's, it was a time where, um, like I was saying, you do everything that looks like a checklist. Yeah. So, you know, you're, you're praying. Yeah. You're, you wake up. They say, yeah. talk to the baby. You talk yeah. to the baby. You lay your hands on the baby. Yeah. We are going for conventions, during yes. church service. Mm-hmm. In the middle of church service, you're told to pray. You pray, put your hands on the baby. Yeah. Speak to the baby. Yeah. Prophesy. Yeah. You know, what you want to have, uh, you know. Everything. Yeah. You're paying your tithe. I mean, your time, you're making sure we're in a mungu. Hey. Kubampa. Mungu. Hey, yes. bumper to bumper. 
from what you passed through. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like now we're at five, we're at up. six. So you're thanking God actually each yeah. month and each visit you Some go milestone, to. milestone, yeah. Because you're like, wow, to go up and now you can see again. So, so now the app is making sense. I see the app, uh-huh. release, I go to the scan. Yeah. It looks oh, like that's it. How it yeah. looks like. I go, so everything is making sense and I'm excited. And then now it's Christmas mm-hmm. and uh, we're like, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, by New Year, I know my parents are had gone they were in the US visit, we were visiting my siblings yeah. so they were landing mm-hmm. and they were landing on the 31st okay. so we were like ah by the time we land man I was well, telling my mom yeah. by the time we land yeah. uh, oh, that was certified because you were due around the new years yes okay yes yeah, so that's that's actually the time and, and uh, I don't know if we didn't pick it yeah we didn't pick did we pick no we didn't pick it it was supposed to be you know yeah. Natural, okay, mm. right. So mm-hmm. I remember that Christmas was great, and we were like, ah, oh, you know, planning, saying, ah, now, now, now next Christmas, yes, to talk to go, so I talk one year, it will mm. be great. Like we'll take that picture there, we'll do that there, we'll do this here, and everything mm. will be right. Mm-hmm. And I remember twenty for me. I think around the twenty eighth, and then it was very interesting. So every time. Um, <laughs> Every time I would say, Adana, it's your dad. Yeah. Boom. Oh, every she'd single respond time. to your every voice. Every single time. Yeah. yeah she would respond to my voice. Mm. And I, I used to play her Beyonce's brown skin girl. Yeah. Because I was like, oh, you have to talk a melanin. Mm-hmm. And she's going to be dark <laughs> like a daddy. Yeah. But, you know, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> but I just wanted to know that it's okay. Yeah. Right? So You're that's, beautiful just the way you are. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So everything was okay. Then on the 30th, she woke up and she's like, you know, me and I am tired. I don't have this baby. Okay. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. And then literally a few hours, yeah. she started having the contractions. I'm like, what? I'm a kuskia. Mm. Let's go. Grab your bag because your bag is packed. Yes. Grab your bag, get in the car. Hey, man. Mm. Let me tell you, I was so happy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she was in pain, but Mimi was like, <laughs> happening. <laughs> it's happening. It's <laughs> happening. You know, like yeah. excited driving. So we drove to the uh, guidance spot just to be sure. Yeah. He checked, like, ah, in fact, you're dilating, go to hospital. We okay. will be there. So we went to hospital, mm-hmm. went, booked, everything was okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, first when we checked at the, at the um, uh, gyna, yeah. checked the heartbeat. Yeah. And it was still there, okay. pretty much. I'm like, all right, let's go. So we went to hospital. Basically, it was like, what, from, for those of you who know the area, it was like from Gong Road to Nairobi Hospital. Mm. Okay. So it was pretty close. close. Yeah. So we got there. Uh, she went in. So they said, as we are as we are booking, mm. we're in Danga Uko. You register and I use So I was like, all right, cool. See you in a bit. Yeah. Let's go. Mm-hmm. So again, I've told everybody, hey, guys, it's yeah. happening. Yes. So I go check the the um, documents and everything. Then when I come back, mm. uh, this the I find out on a wheelchair. I'm like, Hey, where you going? room guy. See, well, we have to wait here, and then we'll transfer to the room later. Yeah. She's like, they're saying there's no heartbeat. Oh my gosh! I was like, what? I was like, that's what they're saying. So I was like, Whew. but we just literally like an hour ago, not even an hour. It was minutes, like mm-hmm. thirty or so, mm-hmm. to make it hard bit size. So. Mm-hmm. It was the cool, huh? Yeah. So I'm, I'm like, anyway, I'm sure they got it wrong because to me, it's here 30 minutes ago. So let's yeah. let's go because they said, let's go do ultrasound. So we went, do, did the ultrasound. And uh, so the, the nurse came. And, no, one nurse came, mm. did the ultrasound. Yeah. And then didn't say anything, walked out, went to call for a second opinion. Okay. Um, checked again. Then they wrote something. Um over there, it's something like it's called, they say it's spalding. So me, I've um, only seen spalding like on a basketball, basketball ball, yeah. <laughs> you know. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I thought, ah, probably it's just a medical term. But I said, okay, let me just Google it and see yeah. what it means. Yeah. So basically, it means sort of like a, almost like a collapse or yeah. something like that, right? So I was like, ah, anyway. still, I'm like, okay, mm. it's alright. So we then went back in and they called. Uh, now by that time now my guy in Asiata he was just prepping to come deliver the baby and let's go so even him he was literally just a few minutes behind us like Afika and at a Kambiwa there's no heartbeat she's like that can be it's you possible. bring that equipment watch a CC to Jiangali yeah. yeah so they brought the equipment and the doctor himself now mm. uh, went and 
just going around the time. And at that time, I'm like, this cannot happen. Yeah. yeah, this is not happening. Not today. I don't even think, I don't know <laughs> what this is, but it's not. Yeah. So, yeah, so by the time they actually now told us, mm. and we got, all of us got pissed off. Mm. We were pissed off at the doctor, we were pissed off at everybody. And because yeah. they were saying, you know, you need to yeah. stay and follow this through. Yeah. Because health wise. Yeah. Um, you need to, because you're already dilating, you can't... to deliver. Yeah. So mm. we were like, no, you guys, you must have done something wrong. We're going to look for a second opinion. We are out. So yeah. he said, if you do leave, you'll have to sign a form to say you're leaving against our... I'm like, it's okay. Yeah. Give going. it to me. Yeah. Yes, I'll sign. Mm. And I did. I actually signed the document and said, Sisi to Natoka. Yeah. And at that time, we then called our pastors and they came mm. and they prayed for us. Mm. And they were like, you know what? This is going to be a miracle. So you guys just, you know, pull through. And, you know, we were like, yeah. okay, yeah. let's do this. So in my mind, I was like, you know, there's always that yeah. dream of hope. hope. It looks mm. like it's dark, mm. but then there's a... You're hopeful. Yeah, you're holding you're, on to yeah, something. Yeah, because yeah. that's, that's... Anything can change. Anything can change. And I'm like, it's 31st. It'll be such a perfect testimony in church. Yes. It will be great, you know, and... People are going to celebrate and God is going to get the glory out of this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. like, so this is what we're going to do, sir. Mm-hmm. And then guess what? Mm-hmm. I know I, who, I'm like, ah, now I see your plan. Yes. You master planner. Yes. Who more attack, huh? Okay. If yeah, that's the case, if I'm the, the conduit, exactly. If yeah. I'm the conduit for the glory, let's do it. Mm. But then it was a very long time after that because now every time they have to check if you're dilating, mm have to check and then so they were like so do we give you we can we we can give you an injection that would ordinarily mm. harm the baby mm. but it could hasten the process okay so do you want that i'm like no let's yeah. just this baby is coming i don't know what you guys are talking about man i'm a man of faith we are prayed yeah everything is going to be okay yeah so we went we went through the whole motion and everything and then now we turned uh now actually it was the 30th so we got to the 31st mm. And now it was time to go. It was about 1 a.m. Mm. So it was time to... And that time now my parents, by the way, are now landing. Mm. Yes. And we went to the delivery room. Mm. And now it's time to push. Yeah. And... Uh, whew. Mm. So... Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that time um, for pushing mm. is when you are seeing somebody in so much pain. Yeah. So in your mind, you're like, this pain has to mean something. something. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I don't think I've ever, sometimes, I think in the, even after the screams kept coming back, waking me up at night and all of that yeah. stuff, because yeah. I've never had anybody scream that intensely, especially yeah. when they're like, so just one more push and yeah. she's here. Mm. So she pushed and then... Uh, then we saw Adana, yes. or the eyes of Adana first. Mm-hmm. And she looked so much like me. Yeah. Um, so I, she, they went, took her on the table, the, you know, where we would cut the stuff and put away, you'd measure the weight and everything. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, okay, she's probably not crying because, you know, she's waiting to. Yeah. Is she going to buy Yeah. So I said, I'm like, yeah, girl, hand me the baby. And I went, yeah, so I held her and I, she was very cold. Mm. So I was like, man. Uh, <sighs> so I called her name, mm. you know, waiting for her to respond. cry, respond, yeah. do something. Mm. Um, and that time the mom was speaking in tongues, mm. waiting, you know, still in yeah. mode of prayer and mm. um, a miracle. And so... Um, then I gave her the baby and, you know, I just, I think at that point, I just felt so defeated. Yeah. You know, I didn't know, um, there's nothing I can do, nothing I could say. It's not making sense. Uh, what has happened? What's going on? We, we, we look like we are dreaming. Yeah. The doctor is trying to also trying to be kind of courteous because you know, trying to mm. like harakisha us, you know, like just take your time yeah. and everything. And I appreciate him for that. Mm. And so she held the baby and she is, I don't want to say was, but she is very beautiful. Yeah. Um, and I think for me, just, uh, <sighs> yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, just being there mm. um, and seeing that mm. and finally handing her back yeah. over. And now they were saying they want to take her to like uh, the cold room yeah. and stuff like that. I was like, you know, like what's going on? Yeah, mm. yeah what's yeah. happening? You know, yeah. but I will not forget that the cold feeling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, like uh, even when you hold and then you, because I held her head a bit and then when you release, you, your kind of your thumbprint still stays there. Yeah. And I'm like, like all of these things are beautiful. Her nails looked exactly like mine yeah. and all of these things. I'm like, what? Like, why? Yeah. What's going on? Like, yeah. I even, I was holding her hand, like, waiting for, you know, the way babies. Yes. Yes. And that didn't happen. So I was mm-hmm. like, and then from that moment, um, I just kind of, there's a emptiness mm-hmm. that just then now replaces everything, you know, that you're feeling there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you literally feel like, I felt actually like I had a hole in my heart. Mm-hmm. And at that point, I became sort of numb. So now yeah. I got into okay, right? Uh, what's, next? Yeah, what's next? We need to, yes, we need to, yeah, let's get, let's mm-hmm. do this Some, thing. Let's, yeah. yeah, let's do this. It may happen, but it just happened. But then yeah. my body was not letting me because then after that, my, I actually, my, and I feel that to, up to date when I go to Nairobi hospital, yeah. sometimes I feel yeah. my legs just get so tired, mm. yeah, then it, and uh, you true. feel some cookie yeah. bari flani. Yeah. Then you feel like in cab- trauma. Yes, yep. like it's your body is not. And that used to happen yeah. to me even after when I would go to supermarkets yeah. and I'm walking along the fridge. That mm. cold feeling, mm. it would unsettle me. Yeah. So, and I remember I went to sit outside a bench. They don't have it anymore. But if you've been to that hospital, right yeah. where the Kajava Express is, yes. they have. Yes. They used yes. to have benches yes. there. So yeah. I, I sat there because now I went to get the bag. Mm. Then we had packed, and now I'm like I'm in this car, I'm like, man, this bag was supposed to be for yeah. something, but mm. it's not. Mm. So we sat there and I sat there on that bench and I I actually had a conversation with God and said, Sasa, mm. um, you and me are done. Mm. Um, I don't want to hear about you. I don't want to know of you. I don't know you. Mm. After a conversation, I'm not expecting you to talk back to me. Yeah. That's not the basis of this conversation. I'm yeah. just here to tell you because of what you've done. Before you are, this is yeah, how it's going to... This gonna... is me and you. Mm. Like, this is it. When you're counting your children... Yeah. Count me out. Like, I don't want anything mm. to do with you. Like, I literally said that. I'm like... For, I hoped you would yeah. come through. Like, if there was a moment I was really hoping for you to come through, you yeah. would have gotten so much mm. glory. What a testimony this would have been. Mm. But you decided to let the devil win. Yeah. So, yeah. we na ye ye. Mm. Both of y'all. Mm. Done. By there. Yeah. <laughs> and from then, yeah. anybody who would come and tell me it is well, mm. or it is God's will, oh. I said, you and um, yeah. like, you know what, you yeah. people. Yeah. 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 Put it where the sun don't shine. Yeah. <laughs> the sun don't shine. I was like, by the way, I was, and then I was, at that moment now, I just felt angry. Yeah. I was angry at everybody. Mm. And then I went back in now just to be there for her from there. Yeah. 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 I feel like you've touched on so many things. One of them just being the, and this has been a recurring conversation, is our healthcare system because when I take you back to your the first loss right um, the way the news was broken mm. y- what did he say you've lost the baby yeah, I, literally he came he sat down and said okay so we've lost the baby yeah that's, that's you know it's said, almost yeah. like saying what are you having for breakfast it's exactly. so casual yeah, yeah. and and you're you're dropping such heavy news I'm thinking fast forward to when um, you lost baby Adana mm-hmm. By the time you found your 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 ex-wife on a wheelchair, uh, being told there's no heartbeat, in my head I'm like, they told her that by herself. Mm. You know, mm. did they think to first find the support who was there mm. with her mm. before you break such news and start the process? And start the process. Yeah. There's just it just feels like there's so many gaps that I wish things could be done with a lot more care. I appreciate that. They're overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I appreciate, you know, that there's so much to do, but I feel like there's just that 
uh, level of being humane that needs to come back mm. to our healthcare system. Mm. Mm. Um, I love that you're bringing out um, and this, and we're going to explore this a lot more. What that you, in that moment you felt anger, and the truth was that you're like my faith, everything I have believed, pack it. Yeah, because I've done everything. I have mm. done everything. Yeah. I have done everything people expect me to do. I have prayed. I have taken care of. You know, we've done prenatals. We've done everything. Um, so what happened? You know. Um, so we'll come back to that, Willis. Um, O'Neill, I want to bring you into this conversation now and uh, probably start you off a little before even um, the baby conversation because some of us are aware and you can tell us that you've had health challenges over the years. Mm -hmm. What that meant when it came time for you to try to start a family and then you can now tell us about the beautiful girl who introduced you to fatherhood. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> you know, listening to this gentleman just speak and share their hearts, it, it's just overwhelming, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it takes you to a place and you go to realize, I felt that feeling. Mm -hmm. I was there, you know, I walked that road. Yeah. I've been to that spot. Mm -hmm. For me, as in, first I was diagnosed with the type of cancer called multiple myeloma. Yeah. which is still in my system running, but God is good. Mm -hmm. I'm still going on. Yeah. So I had to go through chemo for several months, and then I had to do like a stem cell transplant. Yeah. So I had to go travel to India to be able to go do that. Mm -hmm. So I would say when that happened, it kind of just gave us a job. But before that, actually, before being diagnosed with uh, the cancer, mm. I just got married to my second wife because I was married before I lost my first wife. So like Omar was saying, he had experienced loss, same here. Yeah. I had gone through loss and understood what loss was all about. And the other conversation we were having uh, backstage about certain issues about men that we deal with, but sometimes we don't grasp them. I was one of those people whereby Got married to a new wife, you know, excitement, you know. Mm -hmm. Honeymoon stage is over. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now we are trying to figure out life. Yeah. So we need to get a baby, you know, mm -hmm. to a spice life. Yeah. So as we were doing all that, it's just taking too long. It's not happening. Mm -hmm. So I went to see a doctor and everything. And the doctor said, dude, I think there's something not okay. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you take this medication, you need it because maybe... Because what he said is there's veins that are, were not well placed somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they were affecting everything. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, take these medications and you need to take care of business. But in the process, my wife and I said, this is before even we got married. We just, you know, there's those conversations you talk about yeah. the future. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about adoption? I was like, yeah, me, I'm all about it, you know. Mm -hmm. So... She was like, now that it's taking long, why don't we adopt, adopt a child as we it's wait? Yeah. I was like, no, I'm not there yet, you know. Mm. Up until the doctor said, I don't think it's going to work anytime soon. It's not like it's mm -hmm. on. So I got lucky, traveled to America. Mm. When I was in America, I went to a doctor and the doctor just said, mm -hmm. this is something that we would have to do a surgery. Okay, to correct it. To correct it. Mm. And even if we do the surgery, mm. it is not guaranteed. Uh -huh. And I said, okay. So if they do surgery, it's not guaranteed. So what do we do here? I was like, so I came back home. Mm. Came back home. Maybe I think, and my wife is from the other side. So who can you shall go to look at Menda Ushago? So in Menda Ushago, Dr. Akanamega Semanisaho came back here. Mm. And so I was warming up to that whole idea of adoption. Yeah. And at some point, I just said, okay, let's do that. Yeah. And God will do his thing. I'm a man of faith. Mm. Grew up trusting in Jesus. Even Kambua told you we met at Word of Life. That's where I was at, working at. Mm -hmm. Serving Jesus. Mm -hmm. Helping young people know Jesus. Mm -hmm. So I gave my youth yeah. to God and was like, I trust you. Mm -hmm. I don't know what lies ahead, but I trust, trust you. you. Yeah. So he has an opportunity to go to the point of, Let's adopt a child. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Let's get the papers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fill in this the papers. Is in this is in Kenya. Kenya, yeah. This is home. Mm -hmm. Sign papers, everything. Take them in. Yeah. 
my wife is into that, you know. She, and I, I'm okay with that. Yeah. But right now, because this whole baby situation is bringing stress, mm. let's do it. Okay. And I was in it. It's not like it's something that I did it for her. Mm. There's moments us guys do things for, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, the lady wants it. Yeah. Lady gets. Mm -hmm. you know, this was one Both of like, of let's do it. Yeah. And took long, like a whole nine months we were waiting. Mm. It's not like it's a quick fix. Okay. So we put in our papers. Mm -hmm. They did everything. Yeah. So that year in September, that is 2019 September. Yeah. Because uh, we had teams who had come in and everything. Then in July, we have teams that come. Like I told you, we run schools. Mm -hmm. So they'd come just to, these are the, some of the sponsors that sponsor the kids. They come to just visit and see the kids and see how mm -hmm. things are going. Yeah. So it was a busy month of July. Mm -hmm. So August, we take a time out. So we take a time out. We just went somewhere to relax and unwind after stresses of that month. Mm -hmm. We get a phone call. Hey, there's people who are gonna call you about this and this. Then we get a picture. Yeah. And this lady said, This is the child. Yeah. As in, you see that feeling you're talking about? Yeah. It just this is a child I've not known. Mm. I've just seen a picture. Yeah. But I'm told yeah. this is the girl that needs you to be their father. Mm. I bowled, you know, I just yeah. cried. Yeah. Because she was amazing. Yeah. Amazing kid, amazing mm -hmm. child. Mm -hmm. I fell in love. Love at first sight, yeah. for me, that was it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I had to wait, you know, then we went, or I had to go all the way to Nanyuki to pick her up from Mombasa. Because mm -hmm. once you put in your papers, mm -hmm. then they have to place. Yeah. And then you have to, they usually have, with the paper, when, once you sign up, you have to send a picture of yourselves because okay. they try to match you with the right yes. baby. Yes. So we had to go and see, get there, spend mm -hmm. time with the baby before mm -hmm. you spent time and had our community with us. Like you said, you know, you have your people. Right. Yeah. Got our people on board and we went all the way and came the baby home. Yeah. And here we are. We're parents now. How old was she? At the she time? was six months. Six months, yeah. Baby, baby. Yes. Yeah. Her name was Etana. Yeah. Etana Marie Nyanji. Mm -hmm. You know. Went home. Mm -hmm. So she was growing up with us. Here she is. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So that is 2019. Yeah. September. Mm -hmm. She's growing. She's just being awesome and amazing. Mm -hmm. July, June, uh, actually March, mm -hmm. COVID hit us, 2020. Yeah. I was working as always, you know, doing what I do. Mm -hmm. But started feeling tired, you know, but then March, by April, everything is closed down. Mm -hmm. yeah. But here I am still tired. You know, I'm not going to work. Because mm -hmm. whenever I used to go to work, especially the high school, I used to go kick ball with the boys and everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now I'm not kicking ball, but I'm tired. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, ah, something's wrong. My back is really hurting. Mm -hmm. I feel like I snapped something. Mm -hmm. you no know, back pain. I go to the Hosi, they tell me muscle relaxer, you know, you need CG therapy. Yeah, I do all those, the physio, all those mm -hmm. things. Until one time I, I was sleeping, couldn't wake up. Yeah. Couldn't get out of bed. And the interesting thing is my daughter used to, her room was next door. Mm -hmm. Anytime she woke up, the first thing she says, Baba. Yeah. Baba. And she was just call loudly like she's demanding, where are you? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> yeah. So Baba, I, I'm trying to get out of bed. I can't. Yeah. Can't move, man. My rib cage is mm. hurting as in I feel like I don't have a rib cage. Yeah. So one of my best buds come, he's, he was my best man, Kelvin, comes over. He's cracking jokes, like he goes like, dude, you become old, you can't even walk. <laughs> We're actually just cracking jokes, being dudes, you know? Yeah, yeah. We go to the Hosi. Mm. I get there, I can't even walk down, so I'm put on a wheelchair. Oh, wow. He's pushing me down. Because mm. my wife couldn't leave because she had to stay with the baby. Mm. Yeah. So here we are. It's Friday, Doki look at me and says, uh, you know, we need to do some tests and everything based on what, is, uh, what you're telling me, we need to do some tests and wait. This is the other, that, as in us guys, we just joke about stuff. Mm -hmm. This is what is, uh, I tell the doctor, uh, it's Friday, doc, so you want to keep us here, and I'm sure you'll release us like police station, pack a Monday up. <laughs> <laughs> we are laughing. Yeah. So here I am, I'm checked in. Yeah. My buddy goes home. I'm in the hospital, I get a brace, I'm put on a brace, I'm on the bed. 
I go do the CT scans, everything, they do blood work. Then he goes like, I need to do a bone marrow thing. I go like, okay, let's do it. That's one of the most painful things I've experienced. I can mm. imagine. Because the guy had to screw on my hip bone, go in there, get the bone marrow out. That was painful. Yeah. Mm. So did that. I went back into the ward and I'm there. So they brought the results. When they brought the results for the scans and everything, they brought them to me. Okay. They were not left at the nursing station. The doctor was not there. So I look at them and I see um, investigating could be TB uh -huh. or the bones okay. or multiple myeloma. Mm. I'm like, what is this? Like Willis, Google, Google my friend. <laughs> yeah. I see, okay, could be a type of cancer. I have a friend of mine, he's a doctor, he's like a big brother to me, mm -hmm. been in my life for the longest and he's one of the realest people I know, he's called Dr. Gome. Mm -hmm. I call him, I tell him, hey, Kaka, uh, hospitali and this is the situation niko nayo, na unasema unangalia hii na hii? Kanaambia, eh, Kaka, tuombe kwamba, ni hiyo TB, na siyo ya Okay. With that information, yeah, take, I relax. The doctor comes and goes like, ah, results, eh? then he goes to the nursing station. I can hear him because he was like, you're not supposed to give the patient the results and every other thing. And, mm -hmm. But me, I've already, I'm already researching. I already know what we are yeah. looking for. So, I'm, And I'm one of those people that if I cannot do anything about it, I don't let it get into my system. Okay. It just... Yeah. Close that door. I block it. Mm -hmm. So that's one of those things. I blocked it. Yeah. So I'm seated there just, I can't move much. I'm just sleeping and everything. I've been given some painkillers and I will say, you don't want to get high, man. I, I used to get high years ago. Yeah. Years ago, like mm -hmm. 20 years ago. Yeah. But then here I got high again because I was given opioids, man, mm -hmm. yeah. to take care the of the pain. pain. Yeah. I was having vivid dreams, mm. like 3D mm. dreams. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? I, as in, I was, I was, I, I didn't know what was real and what was not. Yeah. So I get out of the hospital. I go home mm. on my, uh, on Sunday. Mm. So, because the doc said we're still researching. Wednesday, my meds are pushed. My wife brings my, me back to the hospital because. Meds, the doc said, when they finish you, come back. Mm -hmm. So I come, mm -hmm. I show up, and the doc says, ah, by the way, I have your results. Mm -hmm. And what does the doctor say? Mm -hmm. You have cancer. Yeah. This is the time of lockdown. So I have cancer. In my mind, remember I said I blocked. Mm -hmm. So he has already said I have cancer. Mm -hmm. In my mind, I'm like, so what's next? Mm -hmm. What do we do next? Okay. He goes like, you need treatment and every other thing. and every So for this, you need to do... And he's already talking about you need to go to Nairobi, you need to meet this, uh, this, this doctor, you need to go see immediately. So I'm like, immediately? Does it mean I'm dying tomorrow? Mm. So there's so much of you need to do urgency. Yeah. Okay, my wife is like, okay, what do we do? She's already called some people. The circle, and when the circle is called, people are trying to find who is who. Mm. Yes. Some people are trying to think, how do we get the governor mm. to get his chopper to turn this guy to? Yeah. Because the governor will help us get a flight out. Because mm -hmm. there's no planes, nothing. Mm -hmm. That's why I've, everyone is yeah. thinking. All my, my close people are thinking that way. Yeah. But something just, God just calmed my spirit and said, call Dr. Go. So I called, hey, Kaka Vipi. Mm -hmm. Hey, ni nai. Ah, okay. Sasa uh, I love Dr. Amesimaja. Mi nambia tuende Nairobi. Kafaya nini? And when a picture on to me, took a picture, sent it to him. Mm -hmm. Said then, like three, four hours later, he calls me and says, Let's meet at Mama's hospital on Friday. Okay. This is Wednesday, right? Yeah. Mm. Says, Let's meet on Friday. On Friday. So me, I'm here with my wife trying to figure out, okay, I have cancer. What, what so for her, she's still we have our baby, taking care of the baby, and this is what is happening. We are just excited the other day, we are mm. new yeah. parents, you know. Mm. Doing life, mm -hmm. raising a child. Mm -hmm. Here I am now, I have cancer. Yeah. So what do we do? Mm -hmm. As in, I'm in and out. Yeah. I zone in and out and I'm like, okay, this is happening. But deep down, there's one thing I was, earlier said, I was singing, there's a song that just stuck in my heart. Mm. You are the Lord that healeth me. You are the God mm. 
that my healer. My healer. Mm. You sent your word and healed my disease. Mm. That's the song that was in my system all through. Okay. And I cried a lot, man. Mm. As in, I cried a lot. And I was just like, why? God, why? Yeah. Why would you do this to me? Mm. What is it that I've done? See that path? Mm -hmm. What is it that I've done? I was on that path. Wow. Asking him why. Yeah. Okay. I, as in, it wasn't making sense. Yeah. So Friday, I show up to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Mm -hmm. He brings me to an oncologist who is right, like, down the hall from the doctor who was sending me to Nairobi. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And he says, uh, you know, uh, based on what you have, this is marimaloma, this is what we need, this is the therapy that's needed, okay. you'll need to start chemo. Mm -hmm. So when can you start chemo? Mm -hmm. Can we start on Tuesday? Okay. As in, I didn't have time yes. to yes. process. Yeah. process. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so Friday, weekend, me, I'm just still trying to figure out what's going on. Mm. On Tuesday, I'm sitting in the Hosi chemo in my system. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they took me through all that and I just said, let's do this. Yeah. I said, let's do this. Yeah. Why? Because I have a child. Mm -hmm. If I'm to leave, let me leave for this child. Right. Let me just, because I had so many hopes and dreams. Mm -hmm. This child is one that I used to pray for every day. I was the one putting her to bed. Mm -hmm. And every time I put her to bed, my prayer was that, Lord, Raise this girl to be able to know you, yeah. to love you, yeah. and to make you know. Mm. That was my prayer for her, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, keep going to chemo. Mm. Every week I used to go once, yeah. come back home. Mm. So, it, we've gone for like six months. Mm. Wow. So, we had, from June, we've gone all the way. Christmas came, yeah. you know. Mm. Did Christmas. Actually, no, before Christmas, that is. This is 2020. Mm -hmm. We did, uh, what do you call this celebration that is here, December 12th, Apple. Jamhuri Day. Is it? No, there's one in... December 12th? There's 12th and then there's another one. Mm, like no, 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 before Christmas. It's October, sorry. Oh. October. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask when is your birthday. October. My birthday is 21st December, that's oh. why. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Back down. Um, <laughs> Uh, up October, 20th October. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Still lockdown, it's still being, we're yeah. not sure what's happening. Mm -hmm. So a bunch of my buddies came home, you know, I can't be around so many people. Yeah. So I had a friend of mine called Martin, you know Martin, mm -hmm. came all the way, he was in Swiss back then, so he comes over with his family, and because he's around and I have a f really close friend of mine called Davey, yeah. King Arthur and his family, they were there, so we had the kids. Yeah. And some of my boys and their kids just hanging out. Mm -hmm. The house we used to live at, mm -hmm. they had a pool. Mm -hmm. So, sat there, I was as round as you can, I don't know, man, I was bigger <laughs> than you, bro. Because <laughs> of the steroids I was taking and I was yeah. eating like crazy. Mm -hmm. So wait, the steroids are making you? Yes, hungry, the appetite. appetite, and I was wow. eating a lot. Mm -hmm. And also my body was retaining a lot of water as well. Mm -hmm. So I was just, for the first time in my life, I raided the fridge at night. Oh, wow. Never happened. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of food. <laughs> You're like, who is this? Uh, actually, that was what the thing. I become? Yeah, I went to open the fridge at night and I was taking bread. Of all things, bread. <laughs> I never eat, like bread. Yeah. And I was eating it. Yeah. But because of that. So, yeah. so, so you fast would, forward. Yeah, here we are. Here. Guys are here, mm -hmm. celebration, mm -hmm. Nini. They leave. Mm -hmm. Following day on 21st, uh, yeah. I'm supposed to go back for review. At the doctors. Okay. So we leave, everybody else is gone, my buddy's traveling back to Nairobi at that time. Yeah. So we leave out with the, with the house help. Mm. Us guys have gone to the hospital. Me, I'm sitting there waiting area, waiting. So I didn't have my phone with me, so my wife had a phone and she was like, our neighbor just called me. There's something that's happened. What's happened? I'm like, our daughter is in the hospital. What happened? She couldn't explain. I jump in the car and I'm actually, she's the one who drove me to the hospital. Yeah. I drove that car back home yeah. to the hospital. Yeah. Only to get there to be told that our daughter had drowned and died at the pool. Mm -hmm. 